Good morning, guys. I decided to pop on and do this little quick video, but hang on. The wash machine's going off, so you hear that, that's that. My tumble dryer's on pause, I can't really pause that, because then I have to start that over again, which I don't really want to do. But anyway, um, I'm not here to talk about, um, sexy things. I don't generally have an issue with anybody, and the only time I have an issue with someone when I feel like I'm being slated. And I have that tennis to jump in my head. But, what the fuck, Luna? But anyway, I'm going through something that I never thought I have to experience in my entire life. Bearing in mind, I have now accepted that people will generally just fucking leave. Um, but anyhow, a lot of people that I've, met, that I've met over the last several months since I've been in this property, I've realised that my stress levels isn't as bad since it took a couple of people walked away. That's not me blaming them, that's not me saying that that's them. But they've post spent to love me, this person, and unfortunately, they have a few things that are mine and my partner's at theirs. Whether or not they will give it back is a fucking other story, because if we do not get it back, find the place. For someone who knows something that can trigger a trauma, I am absolutely distraught by the fact that she did this, they did this. Bearing in mind, I thought they weren't like that, but you know, people show us regards. For people that like to slate my name behind my back and then be all nice and nice to a face, go ahead. I've learned in therapy recently that the only time you actually realise that people are slating you is when you kind of take a step back and walk away from the people. And you know what? Allowing people to walk away has been the, the most challenging thing ever. But I've learned actually, I don't need those people. I don't need people that will just tell me something and not actually mean it. I do feel like I was used a lot of the time with this person. And I have to numb that emotion. Because it makes me realise that actually she never, they never really wanted me. And that's just how it feels in my head anyway. Yeah, I could be absolutely wrong and they probably did want me. But in there, you know when you have PPD and your head kind of goes, well they did this, so let's, let's just do a compulsive thing. I've been writing doing compulsive things. Um, I'm kind of going, and unfortunately, I'm glad that I have one person back. And I'm glad that me and that person are sort of not shut out. And, you know, realising that drama is just a waste of space, a waste of time. So if you're someone who is currently watching my videos or going on my profile just to see what I'm posting and you're not really going to sit there and be a friend, then I'm going to eventually block you because my opinion aren't there for you to fucking stalk. My opinion aren't there for you to write a rave and go back to somebody else. If you do that, fair enough, you do that. But don't do it to me, because I'll do it back. Um, a lot of people come to me with their issues, and I've actually put my issues to one side. Oh, I'm pretty much pushing my emotions and how I'm feeling on a bad day to one side, which is what I've been doing a lot recently. And when I mean a lot, um, I begged my therapist to actually keep me in a group session for a time longer than I was actually intended to be in for because I was only in it for like two weeks and now I've got another three weeks on top. So you want to sit there and go to me, oh yeah but you only think about yourself. So the time that I'm up all night with someone, the time that I'm there because I'm there to listen to everyone and where will they when I need this on? Nowhere. Bearing in mind there are a few people that sat there and listened but I haven't told them before. Because there's no point. Because, you know, I'd rather speak to my mental health and I'd rather talk about that in therapy. But, I've realised something. Stress only came to me because I allowed it to. Guess what? <laughs> I'm actually in the frame of mind where I can stand here and tell you I'm happier. I don't care if you walk out of my life because you you got to walk there's the fucking door and don't come back. If you come back, and I'm so really mean this in the nicest possible way, the door's gonna slam me in the face. Three. <coughs> Number three. 
I know my limits, and I know my life. And you don't know me. You only know what you heard. Unless you physically walked in my shoes, you fucked. I'm not gonna sit here and let you brittle me because you only know about this much compared to what I've been through. I have been through so much shit growing up. I'm very, very, very surprised I'm still here. Now. And bearing in mind, if it wasn't for one person or a couple of other people that I know that are actually willing to stick by me, I wouldn't be here. My parents are one of my biggest, biggest supports. I may not see eye to eye with any of my family, but they're there. They're family. I may not have a close relationship with them, but they're my support as well, and I'm there for them. I may not show it, because nine times out of ten, I am dealing with my own shit. A partner, well, partners. They're there for me. My true friends. If I went to them, hey, are you okay to talk about something that I'm going through? If it triggers you, we can stop. Nine times out of ten, I'll do that. If I don't, it means I don't trust you and I ain't tell you about this much. So, if you're going to come around and say, I'm a liar, I'm this, I'm all the other fucking bullshit, maybe think about why you're hearing the other side of me. You're hearing the bad side of me, not the nice side of me. The nice side of me. I'm a nice hearted person and I will give any time to make any fucker. I don't have my own company. Bearing in mind, I'm not told that I would never be as successful as I am now. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't be where I am today. If it wasn't for me being determined. Yes, I had issues growing up. Yes, I did things in school. Yes, I did this. Yes, I did that. Yes, I did this. But I'm still here. And do you know what the funny part is? I'm thriving. Watch me, she doesn't like me today. I am thriving to be a person that I've always wanted to be. I get to be a mum. I get to love a child. I kind of, like I was loved as a child. I may not see it, I may not know it back then. Yeah, I've moved around a lot, but do you know what? I guarantee my child will be more loved than anyone else that I've ever met. I love kids with a passion. Can you put me in a room in front of kids? I'm there. If I'm struggling and you give me a child, I'm there. I'm not having another room. No, I'm there for that child. I'm always happy when I'm with kids. And I'm mentally okay around children. When I'm when I'm struggling, a child, all my issues go away, go away because I'm fixated, because I'm focusing on a child. My one sister, her little boy, oh, I love him with a passion. He is the most champion of the world. Every girl I see him. The other day, we met up in Shoreham, and I was struggling. Do you know what the first thing I did? I was like, hello. And that's when my health went, yep, yeah, I'm up here, not down here. So think before you do, because yeah, I may have medical conditions that could affect other issues, but I'm in therapy, and I've got the help that I need. I don't need negative people in my life. So if you're one of these people that are going to constantly be negativity around me, go fucked. If you're not willing to help yourself, then get fucked. Because I'm not going to sit there and waste my time and day supporting someone who isn't willing to help themselves. I have said this to my clients, I have said this to my employees. Yes, employees. I run this company. But I've been off work due to health reasons. I'm now back at work. <coughs> so, come at me. Yeah, yeah. What you're going to do is get that block button. Hello again, me again, part two. <coughs> As I was saying my if it wasn't for the support that I have now, I wouldn't be here. Bearing in mind, I don't really like help, because I think that's a sign of weakness. I've learned over the years that actually after help is a sign of strength. So when you sit there and you need help, <laughs> darlings, I'm under every services that are willing to support me. But I have a lot of shit, yeah, and, my, and I have seizures, I have other things that are being diagnosed at the moment. Fortunately, a lot of people will think that I thank them. Um, but yeah, my 
neurology team have said that they think it's something else instead of epilepsy, not just epilepsy, there's something else going on. I mean, my seizures are epilepsy seizures, but there's also ticks involved, there's tracks involved, so it could be a number of things, okay? I'm not a medic. I have a whole list of medical conditions and disability. I'm not going to be a ADHD. So you want to sit there and brittle someone who's actually getting help. Bearing in mind I'm autistic. Bearing in mind I used to act younger than my actual age. But I don't anymore. I am now a 28 year old girl with a 28 year old mind. You don't know like what I do, you give a fuck. I'm not going to stop doing what I do because it upsets you. <laughs> nah, nah. You don't know, like me, get lost. I went through something traumatic last year and I don't really talk much about it. And I can now. This person gets walked through. Unfortunately, there was, there was enough evidence they shipped one of my mental health down the drain even more. My own court. I respect them for that. I hate him for that. We're going to go to court. But hey, we're here. We're thriving. We're moving on. There's a lot of videos that I uploaded the other day when I came back from being alright with my partner, partner's house in, up, up north. I came back and I sat on my bedroom floor. You know, because I wanted to. There's videos, oh, there's one in my drive, and there's two that I posted in the last couple of days where I'm sitting on my bedroom floor fighting numerous flashbacks because of what I went through. You can't not sit there and say, oh, but you lie about it. Were you there? No. Can you see the trauma that it put me through? No. Yes, I was going out because I was, I was being dragged out by my partner. Because he knew that if I didn't go out, I would stop eating, which I did. I stopped taking my meds, which I did. My health then deteriorated to the point where I was in that hospital for that whole year. What I'm planning here today over a year and a half later, okay? Over a year and a half later, I'm still here. Very surprised. And this person is still going around telling everyone that I like. This person can manipulate people who are vulnerable. Fortunately, he did that with me on that day. Didn't register. Because I was struggling. Because I was struggling so much that I didn't think of what that person could have done to me. But, hey, we're thriving, we're getting through the day. It is okay, bearing in mind, it is okay to feel like shit. It is okay to not want to get out of bed. It is okay if you do not want to get up and deal with your day. But you getting out of bed is a start. You trying to eat, or well, you can't even eat that much, or trying to eat Good on you. I struggle to eat foods. Bearing in mind, I eat the wrong foods nine times out of ten. Being nine minutes, I eat the wrong foods. I don't know what I do. So I'm trying. That is all you can do is fucking try. Don't listen to anyone else. You want to do this. You have to do this. You've got to do this. No. Do what you can. I learned this. And my headaches back. <sighs> so if you're struggling, say you're you're coming to me and hey, I need support. I'm like, okay, with what? And you went to me with this, and I'm like, okay, how about we try it this way? If it didn't work, we'll try another route. We will keep. Watch what she's having done now. We will keep trying until we find something that works. If it doesn't work, then we'll find an alternative. Bearing in mind, I have. I do mental health apps, I, med I do medication, I do yoga, I work out, I do all that stuff from home. Yeah? I'm being the mean like, that I wanted to be for years. And I mean, I love going, I love working out. But I can't go to a gym. Because the last time I went to a gym, I overworked myself. Like, properly overworked myself. So remember, don't overwork yourself. Take day by day, or hour by hour, by minute by minute. Say you want to come out of bed, and you're like, oh god. Even if you went in the front room and just sat there and had a cup of tea and drink whatever you have in the morning, but with no food. I've made a three meals a day. 
I mean, just about mating, if not one. Recently, it's been between one and a half. Remembering your worth. Remembering your limits. No one else's, yours. You know your limit. You do you. Right? Love you guys. Bye bye.